friends and welcome to my youtube channel so in a today's session i will explain you how to create new user login with read only access for the database so i am using the sql server 2022 in this session i will explain you step by step guide for the adding the new user using the sql server management studio create read only database user in a sql server 2022 so for that we need to follow some steps so all the detail i mention in one document so end of the video i will share you this document with you so the first step connect sql server management studio so for that we need to click on connect then select the server name after that select the authentication mode then uh, connect after that once you connected then go to the security then right click on security new then login so the login window will open here we need to put login name as a, in my case i am using the read only user so i put the name as a read only user after that select sql server authentication mode so after that put the password then confirm password after that default database so i am using this user for the test database so i selected test then default language so english then server role so basically is a public then user mapping so i use this user for the test database so then we need to select the schema so in my database i am using the dbo then click on the okay so below database role membership for the test so i am selecting dd underscore uh, data reader so this is a read permission then for tag superable then i select the server name after that we need to select the status so status for the grant permission should be grant and login should be enabled after that click on okay so once click on okay then uh, the check in a login uh, the new user will be created then click on refresh so before the checking so we need to restart the sql server for the restarting click on s then click on s so it will take some time once the restart, restart process done then uh, select the the database in a test database you can check under the security uh, under user so the read only user will be created so for connection we need to click on connect then the server name then the authentication mode as a windows authentication then click on connect for the first time login it will ask him change password so we need to put the new password after that confirm password then click on ok so now i am able to connect to the sql server using this username so we can check the detail like read only user and i am checking the the database so i have selected student database but is not accessible because of we have not given permission for the student database so the test database for the test database check the tables so under that department and student table read permission is the properly working or not for this user so for that i simply run a query select top 10 star from selecting the department table after that click on execute that means the uh, read permission uh, is working fine so i am now i am checking the delete permission delete from 
the same date, same table, department, and uh, here the department ID equal to one. So the for this user the delete permission we have not given. So this operation the error like that delete permission or denied. So it's working. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thank you. Happy learning.